Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to Malik Jyot 34 channel. This is Malik Arjun. Uh, today I'm here to announce a new course, which I'm going to start in my YouTube channel. Uh, this is going to be one of the exciting topic uh, for, for going, going, going from today till uh, probably in next two months, uh, because this is going to be not a simple course because I'm going to start a complete understanding of rack course. So which includes the complete understanding of rack internals and uh, complete understanding of rack concept and how exactly uh, the rack works in comparison with our standalone database uh, and then you know it's, it's going to be completely from zero to hero like if you are not aware of what is rack in in oracle and you are you are not having uh, you are having a zero knowledge of oracle rack so after completing this course you will you will be going to one of the rack expert so this concept, uh, this course is going to be very vast. So probably uh, it will take, uh, uh, I'm not sure like it, it want to take for two months or three months. No, I'm, every day I'm going to upload a new, new concept on rack. So you can keep watching my YouTube channel. There is a separate uh, playlist I'm going to start as a rack course on complete understanding. So you can watch and you can you know catch me up with on day to day basis so that you know you can understand in depth knowledge on, on, on rack. So what exactly this course is outlined, uh, I, I basically made uh, the six series, like 100 series 100, series 200, series 300, and series 400, and series 500, and series 600. So these are like uh, six series, uh, starting with the 100 series. So what exactly this 100 series contains? Uh, the introduction to the grid, and how clusterware and grid uh, home works, and you know what is their internal, and what you need to know in, in clusterware and grid. And then GI, that grid infrastructure installation, and what are the root script, and what is checkpointing in rack, and cluster where deinstallation overview. So this is going to be complete uh, series hundred. So you will see these many topics. And again, these are the major topics, which includes. And again, there are a few more subtopics uh, that's going to be explained each and uh, each and uh, every time whenever we cover and each and every topic. So we'll cover more topics, but these are the outlined uh, uh, course content. And in, in my second uh, 200 series, so I'll be having a, a internals of rack where I will talk about more demons processes and you know how internal communication works. So everything I'm going to talk under my uh, 200 series, starting with OHSD, GPNP profile and GPNP updates and wallets, GNS basics and GNS internals, and my uh, OCR and voting disk in, in my ASM or disk group. And what is scan, how it works, agent and uh, CTSSD, that is cluster time synchronization service and CSSD agent, CSSD daemon and uh, rebootless uh, restarts. You know, whenever you do a node eviction and all, how it works and what is this rebootless restart, you know, everything I'm going to cover here and reboot advisory, who is going to reboot and how it's going to work and all the internal concept we're going to see it here in the reboot advisory and IPMI node kill, uh, who is going to send out this node kill signal, how it works internally, how the node eviction happens, everything we can cover it here. And some of the GIPCD basics, and then once we understand about GIPCD basics, we'll go with the GIPC internals, and that's going to be complete, uh, you know, uh, internal concept of this GIPC. And then some of the resource concept, we'll work on that, and after that, we'll cover that uh, cluster registry, OCR, and my uh, OLR, that is local registry, we'll talk about that. And some of the server pools, how you can create your server pools, how you can manage them. We can, we can see on that server pools. And then uh, DR UIDs, that is diagnostic record unique IDs, how that diagnostic record unique IDs are getting generated, how you can manage them. So we can cover uh, with this in, this in this chapter. And then we'll start with our clusterware white paper some cluster with technical internal white paper published by some of the Oracle folks. So we'll, we'll see those white papers. That all comes under my 200 series. And coming under 300 series, so you will see some more concept of my rack of ACFS. That is, uh, you know, my ASM cluster file system and, you know, how ACFS support works and everything we can see here. And how the a SP file for my ASM and database will sit under my disk group and how uh, that SP files can be read along with the password files and all we'll see there and my ASM command line utility and intelligent data placement, how the, the data is kept under my disk group, uh, how the data is read from my disk group. So everything we can see it here from the disk, how the disk group can manage that data 
and ASM file access. And if you place your data files inside your ASM disk group, so that's called ASM file. And then how you can access that, how you can control that, everything you can see here. And how you can rename your disk group if you created your disk group as a data. And if you want to rename it as a data one, how you can do that and what is the implications, you know, everything you can see it here on this 300 series. And coming to my 400 series, so where I can talk about some of the tools and utilities, starting with CRSCTL and SRMCTL and some rack manageability tools. What are those tools and what are the patching tools? Everything we can cover here. And some of the lab demonstration for my SRMCTL and CRSCTL I will cover here. And some of the DB and ASM config assistance I'll say. And then some of the CRS upgrade and downgrade uh, demos and activities we'll see here. And some of the enhancement with the CUV, that cluster verify utility and cluster verification and cluster health monitor and enterprise manager for my rack and ASM. So I'm gonna cover everything here with the demonstration and some of the lab demonstration for my enterprise manager. And we'll see some of the uh, you know quality of service, QoS management and supported configuration. So we'll see on this uh, series 400. And coming to series 500, so, where it talks about uh, you know some of the data movement between my cluster nodes, so how the data uh, is gonna be passed from one cluster node to other cluster node, like your cache fusion and your buffer cache, and you know your buffer cache improvements, and what are the new features, and how you can do a instance recovery and database recoveries, and some of the IPCs and RDS, so you can see that, and along with that we can see some of the hang analyzer and resolutions and hang management and hang managers. You know, we'll talk more about this performance tuning related stuff here. And in my rack 600 series, so we'll talk about rack one node and rack one node features and single instance HA that is SIHA and we can call it as a Oracle restart and some of the fan events and you know, fan event workflows and Oracle uh, VM templates. So we'll see all of these uh, in my 600 series. So these are the course outlined and already uh, uh, you know designed the course and presentations are all ready for this one. So in case uh, as along the course, how I move further and if any specific topics, if I missed out, you know, I can keep on including on these topics and we can cover them. And if you have a specific topics to be covered, you can feel free to comment on those particular, uh, you know, uh, uh, lecture or the session on my YouTube channel. So I can include in my next uh, uh, session and then I can cover those missing topics. And as I already commented, so these are not the only topics I'm covering. Uh, these are just a outlined course. And along with that, each topic, I will be covering more and more, uh, you know, uh, topics on, on, on that each session. For example, if I talk about rack one node, so I'll be covering the single instance rack one node, Oracle restart and Oracle rack. What are the comparison between them? Like, you know, that will be uh, subtopics will be there, but these are the just uh, uh, topics or just a uh, uh, course outlined what I uh, kept here. Uh, that's a uh, overall course and uh, how my rack uh, course uh, complete understanding uh, the outline look look like so if if any particular topic is missing so you can comment out my youtube channel so i can include it in my uh, next session so going forward today look you will be keep uh, uh, getting the uh, each of these topics on everyday basis so you will be uh, you know keep following in a complete series so that you know you can uh, get a complete understanding of uh, rack and that's not going to be uh, you know high level or the theoretical part it includes all the practical and in in live demonstration and that's going to be uh, it's going to be make you complete uh, a rack expert from zero to hero so that's uh, pretty much what i wanted to uh, share this is a new initiative what i started so you can keep uh, you know stay tuned and keep monitoring my uh, youtube channel malik 34 and you, know, you can keep continuing keep 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 following this particular series uh, starting from today. Uh, thanks, guys. Thank you all. Bye.